this week inside the Yana Dance Club. Also right away, welcome to all new members of the club. I'm happy you're joining us and I hope you will enjoy your training. A quick reminder, which is a good reminder for actually everyone, that we have four different formats of training that you can take. We have technique drills, which are 20 minutes long only. We have intensives if you're more into like, okay, I want to work on a specific topic and I want to have guidance, step one, step two, step three, what to work on. We have choreographies if you're more, want to extend and expand your repertoire and we have courses which uh, you can also go refresh your basic technique or refer to business course so all these formats are different and they are not only different by topics but they are different by how you train because we are all different we have all different um, interests and goals but we also have different style of how we sort of consume information and how we want to practice how we want to adjust our physical exercises so this is a good balance for you that there are different ways how you can interact with the material at the Yana Dance Club and a note for everyone if you ever feel like oh I don't know maybe my motivation goes a little bit lower or I don't know don't feel the same drive before like before don't only think about switching or maybe diving into different topics but also consider maybe switching the style how you practice that's why I like that we have here four different formats plus suggested training for your week on the members area page. You have all these options to choose what works specifically uh, for you. In terms of our current week, we have a new technique drill and it will be related to Zales. Uh, so you will be mastering a masmudi uh, rhythm with Zils. I know some of you uh, may have some previous experience with Zils, may not. Some of you may not have Zils at home. So one cool trick uh, that someone, some of our members of the club suggested earlier is in the sewing stores, you can find a big buttons and then just make a hoops for them. And they will work for you for training purposes just to develop the mechanics of uh, fingers. So even if you don't have zills, you can use that trick to still have your practice. And in the main uh, members area page, you see selection of three suggested technique drills. One will be new about zills. I also pulled up a previous technique drill on zills too, like it's a dancey. It was more about triplets. And the third drill will be just dancey, just a nice combo but just to balance so it's not the entire drill, uh, the entire week only about zills. Uh, a quick note if you need to review the very very basics of this of literal how to make sounds how to make different sounds refer to drill 232. I didn't add it to the uh, suggested technique drills I kept that more on a dancing note but if it's the first time you're gonna touch the zills go to that drill uh, first it's literally just sitting and reviewing the zills basics before you go into trying to dance the zills a couple notes about zills uh, and why it is important for us to have that skill uh, although i cannot say that zills are that much popular uh, prop item these days to dancing but Traditionally, it's a part of history of all Raksharki, all ballet dance uh, performers, uh, all folkloric performers. They historically were musicians at the same time as dancers. They were accompanying themselves. Sometimes they were performing just on their own, on the uh, streets or on the community or at home. Uh, people were like, so they ne not necessarily even had musicians, so they had to create music for themselves but even if they had musicians it's not like they had huge orchestras historically traditionally it was probably quite small um, groups of musicians so they were adding one extra musician in a body of dancers so she or he was dancing and playing at the same time so this is part of history and even if you're talking about like 30 years ago which is not that long time ago but 30 40 years ago you would not be considered a professional uh, ballet dancer if you did not know how to do this and i'm not talking only about what we call american cabaret style i'm even talking about egypt turkey like middle east uh, too it was very, very essential skill to have to be able to dance and to do zils, zils or symbols, whatever, or sagats, or whatever uh, you call, whichever name you call. But interestingly enough, these days I see it sort of comes back. Um, more and more Egyptian dancers add one act 
uh, in their entire show with the Zils. Even this weekend, I was attending a Cleopatra Festival closing gala and Sahara Samara was performing a gorgeous Egyptian dancer, Raksharki dancer, and one of her uh, sets, one of her entrances was with Zils. Uh, and I see it more and more often. So we'll see maybe in the future it will be coming back. So get ready and start practicing your Zill's uh, skills in advance because it may be popular. I think it, it, it related to this current wave of reviewing a lot of old styles, especially a Walim style, uh, which is a folkloric style, but it's very closely related to Zill's. So it's, Zill's are not only about Gawazi dancers. If you have a little bit knowledge you may associate oh zils gawazi no not really our volume dancers also were playing a lot with zils and now in more and more workshops about the volume comes so zils become more and more popular that's why it's useful to have at least the basic skills and right away one tip it's important to stop and figure out the um, logistics and mechanics of fingers how to play zils but as a dancers as soon as possible once you figure out that get up and try to move. You will not be able to do complicated movements right away, but at least stand in doing a standing position, doing different arm positions, move slowly arms, move a little bit of hips, because this is such a different set of skills of just sitting and playing zills and playing zills while you're dancing. So train your body, train your mind right away to do the basic, the very basics of Zealand, but while you're moving, because that will be way easier for you to transfer in a more complicated dance moves later. And that's why in our technique drills, the couple that we have, I was right away, okay, even if it's more smoothy, completely new to you, let's learn it standing, and then let's right away try in different arm positions, and let's try, at least try to do hip drop, and you will notice it kind of feels like, okay, it's a different level of difficulty, it's like a different skill. So my suggestion, Make sure your timing and the uh, sounds, uh, the quality of sounds are good, but as soon as you can, start at least walking around the room and playing Zels. That will be a very, very useful uh, skill for you. Um, I have a question regarding this for this week. If you don't mind, I would really appreciate it. Please let me know uh, if you like playing Zels, for those of you who already tried it. Oh, maybe you feel it's not your thing, but I would like to know where we are as a group standing. And what's your experience with Zils? I know some of you were doing a couple tutorials here. We did it as a part of Gawazi with Kariya Mazin Intensive. There was a couple of drills added uh, back then. So some of you did, but I would like to know, did you have any experience outside of Yana Dance Club with the Zils? And what's your experience with the Zills inside the Yana Dance Club? Did you do those drills? Did you do them more than once, maybe, <laughs> or not? But please let me know so that I know again, this is ideas for the future. And I really appreciate you replying to my question last week about fusion styles. Uh, I was surprised to see that uh, the topic of Latin dance fusion or samba fusion appeared a couple times. So this is something I will keep in mind and maybe next time we're going to Brazil. No promises. But I keep in mind, I read all your comments. I just wanted to acknowledge that I do get a lot of information and ideas uh, from your feedback. So thank you for replying for this kind of uh, questions. For our work here, next week we will be starting a new intensive. It will be traveling steps. It will be all about hips. It will be very, very heavy uh, focused on the very traditional classic crack sharky. So that's why these couple of weeks I kind of took um, more fluid and to add some related, not easier, but uh, sort of um, maybe on the side tangents uh, technique drills. But I know that for the next six weeks, starting from next week, we are very, very much focused on a very detailed and active uh, uh, hip work, shimmy work, traveling steps work. So that will be a lot of fun and very, very typical traditional rock sharky style for the next six weeks. Uh, as for this week, I wish you good luck with your training. I'm looking forward to uh, hearing answer about your experience uh, with Zils. And uh, I also know that in different parts of the world, there are different weather conditions now in Mexico, in US. So I hope everyone stays uh, safe. I hope everyone uh, is okay. Take care. And if you feel too stressed and uh, 
try to dance, it helps, but even if you can't for whatever reason, dedicate time, just find some corner, shimmy for two minutes, you will be amazed how, what a miracle can the regular shimmy do just to release some stress and tension in our body. But I hope everyone is safe and okay, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week here at the Yana Dance Club. Oh,